Welcome to this week's edition of the video newsletter again. We're out on the golf course for the second time in a couple of weeks and what we're going to be covering this time is we're going to be covering the five top five mistakes that golfers generally make when out on the golf course. Enjoy the video. Firstly, we're going to start off the tee. Okay, now this is one of the most one of the most common mistakes that you'll find on a golf course is that golfers will always be inclined to pull a driver straight out the bag with no consideration into positioning off the tee. Some people will argue and say that they don't hit it as far as what I do, for example, and then they'll feel like they need to hit that driver to get the ball going a specific distance. But generally speaking, you will have more shots to deal with. Okay, so on hole 12, for example, don't feel that you need to be under pressure to hit driver to get all the way up as far as you can up the fairway. If you hit an iron off the tee and find the fairway, chances are you're going to leave yourself in a position which is a bit more favourable more often on the fairway for example. What you might find is that you might find that yourself in the trees even out of bounds and it could cost you shots. Hitting an iron off the tee will just allow you to find the fairway that little bit more often and use your shots a little bit more clever. So this is the next one trees we all find the trees we don't want to admit it but we do and when we do it's important that we have a good understanding of what we can and can't do what we are capable of and what we're generally not capable of and um, this is very sort of I suppose handicap based ability based but um, what I would suggest for most golfers is that you always try and take the easiest route possible it's so easy to try and think I can do that, I can get through that gap, and then generally speaking, that's where your high numbers will rack up from, your sevens, your eights, your nines plus. If you was to always have and adopt the mindset of get myself out into play, and then play from there. Not necessarily, I can bend it 50 yards around this tree and try and get it onto the green, okay? Realistically, it's not necessarily an option. Now, we're in a position where ball is here, tree, just here and then the pin is pretty much in line with this tree just in front of me so I can if I wanted to bend it try and bend it around uh, this tree but realistically generally speaking for most golfers it's not going to happen I either try and bend it left to right or right to left and sometimes it can just put me in further trouble and that's the reality of it what the best play is is just to try and go through this gap here just try and get it back out into the fairway. Easy golf. It's also worth noting as well that you always generally want to be taking quite a low lofted club. Like in this case, I've hit a four iron just to knock it out of the trees. If you're taking an eight iron or a seven iron, chances are what you can do is you can allow the ball to elevate too much you're going to hit branches you're going to hit overhanging branches or leaves and that can obviously affect the direction use a low lofted club keep the ball nice and low and get it running next up we've got the chip and run shot now this is where a lot of golfers will make the mistake of trying to have too much loft in the hand for a shot so simple as this okay just off the edge of the green you've got plenty of green to work with the flag is a relative distance away there is no need to get this ball high up in the air to land next to the pin to stop dead. We're not Phil Mickelson, 54 degree, get rid of it. Eight iron or pitching wedge at least, okay? I always go eight iron. Okay? Now all we want to do here is to get the ball rolling as quick as we can, okay? It's almost like an extended putt, okay? So all we're going to do, rip down it, feet very close together, it's just there. Get that ball roll into the hole. This is one of the biggest mistakes that I see from golfers using the wrong club in and around the green. Okay, always try and use in this position where you've got no trouble to go over an eight iron or a pitching wedge, not something high lofted like a 58, a 60, or a 54 or a 56. It will only cause you to lose important shots. Next up, we've got the unnecessary three putt. Now, three putts are just part of the game sometimes for all levels of golfer. 
this is where we uh, find ourselves 50, 50 feet, 70 feet sometimes away and naturally sometimes we won't get the pace correct and then it will lead to a three putt. But when I say the unnecessary three putt, this means where you're in a comfortable two putt or even a one putt territory and you either knock the putt way too far past or way too far short and it applies pressure for that second putt. And this right now I'm in a scenario where I'm about 15 feet away and there is no need whatsoever for any golfer to have to three put this in this scenario. Right now what I'm faced with is a tricky right to left down the hill and the greens right now are running very very quickly so this can very easily become a three put. What I have to be very careful of is I want to be above the hole enough so that it breaks and drops down towards the hole and I also want to be careful that I don't get too aggressive with it so I want to try and die this putt or this ball into the hole. This next scenario we're on the fourth hole and we're in the rough we're in pretty deep rough and I doubt you can, that you can even see the ball in this case now we are a little over 200 yards to the hole now automatically what golfers will tend to do is they will look at the yardage and the yardage only and they will determine the club and what they're hitting from that number without taking into any consideration the lie that they've got in the rough now for most golfers this will be a fairway wood so this is where most golfers will go to the bag pull out the fairway wood and then be surprised that the ball goes no more than 20 or 30 yards from out the rough what you want to use in this scenario is you want to use a club with loft okay loft in this scenario is your friend it will allow you to get first of all cut through the grass get underneath the golf ball and get the ball advancing further up the fairway and most of all it'll give you a bit more control and it will put the ball in a position where you've got much more likelihood to hit the green for your next shot this scenario you know that you're not going to be hitting the green from here you know that the lie isn't good enough for you to get a clean contact so there's no need for you to pull out a fairway wood or even a hybrid you want loft for this case So remember, all we're trying to do in this scenario is we're trying to get this ball into a position where we can play it for our next shot. We're not trying to get the ball onto the green so there's no need to risk the shot with a fairway wood or a hybrid. Get the ball in play with a high lofted iron. probably three about that <laughs> ignore that one